What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build a Chicago L train car. So this is the 5000 series, and it's used by the CTA, which is the Chicago Transit Authority. And uh, some people, they requested me to do this video because they needed a metro train car, so here it is. I did have an animation video of it, and uh, this is a slightly more improved design. I just added various details, like... Uh, we have colorful bogies, um, the coupling is orange, and the body is overall slimmer. Now uh, you can see the old version, it's way over there. And you can see this train is on elevated track, so if you don't know the L in L train, it stands for elevated. And in Chicago, they have elevated track. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to build one train car and then you should just be able to flip that and put that behind the first car and then that would be a pair and then you can have multiple pairs to uh, fill in your train so this is a four, four car train set so you just make the same car four times uh, you flip it every every other car I guess alright so let's make the front let me go over there I feel like that has better lighting so first off we're going to use gray wool three blocks above the tracks I mean two blocks above the tracks and then we're going to get another brick slab just add that uh, platform and uh, under it uh, we want to add uh, stone brick stairs but in the middle we want to add that uh, into a full block and have a slab sticking out like that and then we're going to take stone just to add that after the gray wool and we want to make that 21 blocks long so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and uh, let's go all the way back Alright, so once you're done with that, let's take uh, some stone brick slab, just line up the sides of it. Uh, we're going to skip this gray wool in the front, we're just going to line up the stone. And the other side as well. And for this uh, gray wool part, we want to add an upside down. Uh, stone brick stairs and this is going to be a little bit tricky since this part is blocked off um, we're going to take a uh, ladder and just place it on the back of this upside down stone brick stairs like that and then let's take some clay just add that one over there one over here uh, get some polished andesite add that next to the clay and then get clay and just uh, make this shape with it like the pi symbol and let's add black stained glass to the sides so we have some windows and let's get redstone torch just add that light on the bottom add iron bars on the sides and let's get uh, some stone buttons and uh, wooden button. Just add that. These are the lights that they have on top. And in the center at the top, we want to put a sign. And this is going to say uh, what train it is. I think that's what they write. And uh, let's do uh, the rest of the body. How about let's get some clay? You just want to extend it to the back of the car. And let's go all the way around. We want to make this border. And both sides, they should be the same. At least that's how I made it. And just add clay down here like that. And let's get a stone slab and just line three wide on top of the roof. 
This is an easy step. I'm pretty sure they use the third rail to power this since they don't have a pantograph on top. Alright, so once we're done with the roof, let's take um, some clay. Actually, not clay. We want to get stone brick. So let me just grab that. And you also want regular stone. So just add that stone uh, right behind this clay over here. And the rest, it should be stone brick, except for the doors, which we're going to punch in some holes later. So I did that side, and let's do the other side. Like that, and let's go to the back. I think the back is with uh, stone brick too, like that. And then let's add black stained glass right over here at the corners and right after that a black stained pane I think it's the same thing in the front where you're gonna add a pane right after the front window over here and then let's add clay after that skip one add clay skip two add clay skip two again add clay just adding these pillars every <clears throat> every third block I guess so we leave uh, two blocks of space between and then we reach the back so let's punch in some doors over here uh, they're like the next column after the front ones I think so we want to leave uh, these three uh, holes for the windows so that's how you know if you did it right and once you have these holes, we want to fill in the windows. They're just uh, black stained glass. And just put them in. And uh, later we can add the doors. And maybe we can do. Yeah. We're already almost done. I mean, this, this car is pretty simple to make, which is a good thing. And uh, let's add the iron door on the sides. So they only have like uh, two doors per side, which is pretty small compared to New York City, which has up to like four doors open up. And let's add a door right over there at the ends. And you want to have it uh, on top of this block, but you want to face it inwards so it's like, like a little um, cave. <laughs> That's the best word I had to describe it. And uh, let's add, oh yeah, this part. This is supposed to be, uh, you can add, uh, you could just leave it alone as stone brick slab, but also you can use acacia. Because I noticed sometimes the, the front coupling, it's uh, orange, so that's why. I mean, it's a detail that I didn't notice before, but now I do. And also another detail, I did not notice before was that they had colorful like brownish orangish bogies like this so what I use is jungle wood slab and anvil and this is slightly a different design of wheel that um, that I'm usually doing but I thought it was necessary so I could fit in the front plow over here and it's gonna be a little bit tricky to place but uh, right after the first plow, you know, we're going to add a hopper on each side. Then after that follows two. I'm not sure if. Yeah, that is good. We're going to add these uh, jungle wood slabs, like two of them. And then we're going to add another hopper. And that's the front wheel. And then let's make the back wheel. So we're going to skip one over here add hoppers uh, with two spaces in between and we're going to fill in that space with jungle wood slabs again so it should look like that and um, let's add the connector we have these uh, safety stuff over here so um, this is the first car and when you want to connect the second car you just gotta 
add this, which is uh, iron trap doors. This is for the change on the sides. And let's add another brick slab, just three of them like that, like a little platform. And uh, on top of that, we want a stone pressure plate so that uh, you can travel between the cars. Now let's add stone pressure plates where the doors are so that you can get out if you're inside. And for the first car, uh, usually they uh, close it off so uh, you don't just uh, open the door and fall out of the train. So you could put um, an iron bar there. So I guess we have to move this iron door. You could place it like that. I think I messed up on this one, I forgot to add that detail. But they do have it like that, I think. And yeah, that's the Chicago L car. Uh, you just repeat this pattern. Uh, you just uh, make the same car, you just uh, put it the other way. So you make a pair of uh, one facing one direction, the other facing the other. And just uh, couple them together and then you'll have a Chicago L train. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, right here is downtown of Foxshot. Uh, this is actually not the server, although it is on the server. This is uh, just a map that I downloaded. You can download our server on Planet Minecraft, by the way. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.